Welcome to Sidekick. In this totally serious video, let's go step by step to set it up for first time use and then receiving and sending Monero with Monarujo, the wallet of choice of the people that are cooler than you. Until now, of course. You'll need two phones, one with the Monarujo app installed and one with the Sidekick app installed. These are two different apps. First, you'll need to have both phones paired via Bluetooth. You do it just like you would pair headphones or a speaker. In this case, we can see it's a OnePlus 3T phone from 2016 and a Google Pixel 7 phone from 2022. You don't need anything fancy to run Sidekick nor Monarujo. Then open Sidekick. You'll see I have a wallet in there already, but we'll create a new one. Notice that there's a warning on Sidekick, warning us that the phone is connected to the internet. For Sidekick to work as a proper hardware wallet, it would be wiser to turn off both Wi-Fi and cellular antennas. Let's do that before creating any wallet. Good. Now this Sidekick phone is basically offline, only connected to the Monarujo phone through Bluetooth. And the Monarujo phone, which is the one exposed to the internet, doesn't have our wallet's keys. Smart, huh? Let's create a brand new wallet that hasn't been used before. On Sidekick, click on the plus button. You'll see several options, just like you would in the regular Monarujo. In this example, we'll create a brand new wallet, so we choose Create New Wallet. Sidekick will ask for a name for this wallet. Let's enter Test, because why not? Make me a wallet already. The app will show us the wallet's seed. This is very, very important. Write it down somewhere and don't lose it. Write down the restore height as well. That could come in handy in the future. Once you have noted the mnemonic seed, click on the aptly named, I wrote the mnemonic seed. Bam, new Sidekick wallet. To be able to connect, we need to have opened the desired wallet on the Sidekick side first. Every wallet on Sidekick is like a different hardware wallet. Now we have to make that wallet appear in Monarujo, so we go to the other phone. We click on the Sidekick icon at the top right, and the app will show us a list of available Bluetooth Sidekicks. Notice how both apps say they're not connected, but once we select the matching Sidekick device, they connect. They should show matching PIN numbers and each other's names. Good. We go back to the main Monarujo screen and click on the plus button. Since Sidekick is connected, we'll only see one option. Restore from Sidekick. We have to name the wallet on Monarujo's side. Let's use test again so we don't mix wallets up, but it doesn't need to be the same. It will ask us for the restore height. Since this is a new unused wallet, we can get that from Sidekick. Enter the number you see at the bottom of Sidekick's screen. Create the wallet. See how you don't see the seed here? That's the whole point of doing all this. The seed which holds the power to all your precious Moneros never leaves the Sidekick device. Bam again! New Sidekick powered wallet on Monerujo. Let's open our wallet. As long as Sidekick is already connected and open, we only need to click on the wallet in Monarujo, use our password or fingerprint, and voila. We'll see symbols lighting up on Sidekick, as it does its magic and communicates back and forth with Monarujo. Just like with any Monero wallet where you hold your own keys, as soon as it syncs, we're good to go. Receiving on a Sidekick wallet works just like a normal wallet. With the wallet opened on both phones, we click on Receive and choose either to copy, show QR, or pick a different sub-address. Nothing changes from normal usage. Once we send XMR to it, we see the incoming transaction appearing on the list and the total amount is pending. As with any Monero wallet, we have to wait for 10 blocks or around 20 minutes to have any new funds unlocked. We can see this countdown next to the transaction. Let's wait and learn to send. With our wallets connected, open, and synced, and our balance unlocked, let's learn how to send from our Sidekick wallet. It works like a normal wallet with the only difference that we need to approve spending on the Sidekick app. 
since it's the one holding our keys. So click on Give, paste or scan the receiving address, enter the amount, and hit Confirm. Monarujo will ask Sidekick, and it's showtime. Sidekick should light up like a Christmas tree. Once it's ready, it'll ask us to confirm or deny the transaction. If we confirm, it signs it and sends it to Monarujo, ready to be broadcast. Go back to Monarujo and approve. The app will then broadcast the transaction built by Sidekick to whatever Monero node we're using. Show us the details, and if we go back, it's there on our transaction list. That's pretty much it. Enjoy using Sidekick like the badass techno-cypher hacker you truly are.